Look, Wait, so you can't I shoot us because of how bad we are. You can't shoot us because we're bad. Yeah, dude. That's really bad. Let me try that. Me and my nutty buddies. So I'm not fucking mad. Right. Right? If you can't tell, I'm talkative. Jesus Christ. And if you also can't tell, I'm online. <laughs> and if you grew up on chats like Xbox Live, like how I did, uh, then you would understand the importance of talking online. And for the most part, my online interactions are mostly nice. It's mostly me and my friends talking to one another and being little sweethearts and being little boyfriends in a boy band. Uh, but also at the same time, away from the Hello Kitty teenage girl bedroom of the internet space that I'm in right now, there's also another side of the internet and it's literally like right outside that little teen girl bedroom. And that is essentially fucking 90s Compton. <laughs> <laughs> when you step out that house, you are like Ice Cube stepping out into Compton. You know, you got your grub on, but you didn't pig out. Or I don't know, maybe you gotta go because you got you a drop top. You never know what's gonna happen when you go outside. When you step into the unsafe space that is out of your bubble, and Xbox Live chats and chats like that, whether that be PlayStation Network or uh, whatever the Wii has, <laughs> whatever whatever it is out there is a totally different beast. Because 99% of the time, you are going to get static from the cowards. A complete oh, a bully, dude. Though. You're being a bully, dude. You're being, you're hurting, you're hurting me because you're I'm a virgin. Uh, my mom said don't talk to bullies. Yeah, my mom said don't even talk to bullies, huh? dude, so. And I don't know, like, like, being online has forced me to be overly aware that there's people who are trying to get at me, who are trying to get on me, who are trying to get with me. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's, that's the beauty of the internet in a way. But at the same time, it's also, uh, if you're someone like me who gets easily tired of people, it can be a struggle. As much as people are into having conversation with one another, they're also equally interested in silencing people and the issue is is if you don't like being silenced then when it comes to the internet you have to fight back you know what i mean the internet is essentially a boxing ring and like sure okay there are some people who keep their microphone muted uh, they're in the stands just watching but there's people like me Ooh, maybe i love to I like to box, baby. What can I say? I like to box. You know what I'm saying? Your boy, your boy, he likes to box. I don't even know what the fuck you're saying right now. Uh, uh, it's it's because you're fucking interrupting me, dude. Uh. Uh, the reason why I'm interrupting you is because I can't hear what you're saying and don't know what you're saying. It's because you're That's interrupting you're me. Clearly. Holy shit, dude. No, okay, no. I'm trying to ask you a question, my guy. Seriously? And now you're just gonna make weird noises like a retard? Oh. Wait, 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 Night Killer, yeah, me and him, I think me and you should make some noises for a second. Is this, is this why you should not be online because you've been doing very successful now for the people? Uh, I'm making weird noises and shit. Sure. <laughs> oh yeah, sure, you, you definitely trash college and shit. Fucking idiot. That dude's a boy, Drake. I've been talking to people and therefore talking shit for a long time now on the internet and it's difficult to explain the appeal of it. It's difficult to explain how Xbox Live chats were and I mean I guess they're sort of there now and I guess that gets into like the type of conversations right because I feel like the conversations you have with people you don't agree with is on like a spectrum. You know what I mean? On this end, you've got the moderated debate and the academic presentations. And then somewhere along the line, you've sort of got your more 
uh, thoughtful back and forth. You know, the, the conversation you have with someone that you don't necessarily agree with, but at the same time, you can understand one another and you're taught, you're making points, you know what I'm saying? You're setting up your premises and your conclusions and then somewhere in the middle, uh, <laughs> you've got like your snarky disagreement, which is essentially... <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you something about giving some motherfuckers some snark. <laughs> I'm the king of snark. I, that's where I sit, right here. This is the king. I am the. I am on my throne right now of snark. <laughs> and then somewhere below snark is like an actual verbal fight when you're uh, essentially boxing with someone else, trying to. More or less just get them to shut up. <laughs> get, get, trying to get them to leave the fucking lobby or whatever you're doing. Just trying to get them to be quiet and you are going to war with them. Hop in, dude. Hop in, loser. We're gonna go get I'm pizza. Fire early in the morning. Uh, my name is not Luther, my name is Gage. Actually. Uh, no, it's Hop in, loser. God damn, dude. Actually, didn't you just listen gay? to me, dude? More like gay. <laughs> oh, <laughs> dude, this kid just got well, fucking roasted, like dude. You are, but you like this kid just, just got fucking roasted, dude. Below that is bullying. <laughs> Classic cyberbullying. The kind of shit that we... <laughs> but I remember the first time someone ever took it beyond a verbal fight and just went straight to the bullying. <laughs> Because what, I was I was a teenager, right? But I was also like, I didn't understand like Xbox Live chats, or in this case, PlayStation Network chats, which is the lamest fucking thing to call it. Um, and I was playing Black Ops 2. I was taking on them Terries, you know? And I'm like running up the stairs, going through the buildings, and then some dude starts talking to me on the microphone. He was like, hey kid. And I'm like, yeah. And he was like, I'm gonna donkey punch your Well that. And that changed my life. I had never thought about speaking with someone in the way that man, that full grown man spoke to my teenage self. Going from bullying down even more is literally just making monkey noises, uh, which is something I've seen as a growing uh, phenomenon. I would like to call it a trend, but in this case, I don't even know if that's the right wording for it where people just eat their microphones. But somewhere in this spectrum lies edginess. I would personally say it goes right above verbal fights and it's right below snarky disagreement. And edginess is something that I wanna to touch on real quick. And I'm about to look like an asshole, but it is what it is because edginess is the ultimate weapon when it comes to communicating with people online. It's, 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 it's like I said, right? It's a boxing ring. And sometimes, motherfuckers love throwing cheap shots. You know what I mean? Because edginess, it wins. It wins fights. Because keep in mind, again, we're not talking about academic debate. We're not talking about a thoughtful back and forth. We are talking about verbal fights. About things that you are actively trying to win. You're actively trying to make the other person shut their mouth. Edginess. Uh, in conversation can have structure. It can have purpose. And also, sometimes edginess is literally just punching someone back without going for the knockout, right? Like, like, okay, some people take it too far. They make it corny. You know, they're saying slurs at one another. And that's why you got to be able to take it. When you step out that door and people are busting shots at you, you got to be able to bust shots back. My mother, for example, oh God, she up. went out to college over when she was at 16, I think, or like <laughs> that's younger cool, than that or something, but she went to college because that's she knows like cool, a whole dude. lot. So, does your mom know any conductors or anything like that? She obviously know a whole lot more things than you. No, no, but does your mom obviously know any, too, does your mom does know any conductors? Now, see, that's basically what's like the live. Does process. your mom and know any conductors? So how can you, how can you even does, tell for the fact that that goes in true for now? How, how does you your mom, does your mom know any conductors? 
Shit, shit does it. Thanks, oh, no. Cool, like because me and Nightkiller are gonna be conductors <laughs> and run the fucking train on her, dude. Shut the fuck up. I don't need to be nice to my fuck. And in my opinion, there's a big difference between being edgy and anti edginess Because you can call me slurs all you want, but when I say I fucked your dad and I edged the office to the bedpost and I wore a sneaker, like, there's no response to that. The actual act of creative shock and awe conversation for the sake of making some hateful idiot shut up is in and of itself an art form, and I feel like it deserves to go up on the roster uh, somewhere. <laughs> because in my opinion, good edginess is about self-deprecation. It's about being off-putting, but also making everyone laugh. And it's used in self-defense, or it's done in good fun with friends that you're around. At the end of the day, edginess is inherently not politically correct, right? We have to get that out of the way to actually speak on edginess. Uh, but moving that aside, edginess is interesting as a culture, right? Because within our culture, we generally don't reward people for being mean in social settings, but that doesn't necessarily exist on the internet. And in a lot of ways, it's honest. What's good? Call of Duty. Call, Call of Duty, get in the car, dude. Don't listen to that oh. guy. He's quieter than me. Oh, He's quieter than me, therefore don't listen to him. Get in the car, dude. Oh, dude, he's gonna kill you. Don't get in the fucking car. Don't, don't listen to him, dude. Fuck, shut up, dude. He's gonna kill you. Don't do Stop, it. Dude, shut up, dude. Call, call of Duty. Fact that I'm call of Duty. Get, get in the car. Dude. Stop, dude. Stop playing in the bushes, dude. I'm mad because I'm obviously spreading the truth to other people. Stop playing in the right bushes, that. dude. Call of Duty. Actually, no one was talking to you anymore. You're just you guys are just a bunch of mentally retarded people. We can all pretend that we're these up upstanding citizens who have pleasant conversation. Oh, oh yes. Oh, Billy, did you see the kids are all grown up? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. <laughs> but that's not who we are. I feel like us as people, like we're animals. We're animals and we love boxing. And I hate that people want to pretend like they don't. Something that seems to be a trait of mine and not really anyone else's, is I'm not scared of uncomfortable conversation. Like for example, without getting too much into it, I went to a church one time, right? Uh, when I was living in Seattle. And if you can't tell by my YouTube name, I'm not necessarily the kind of person that's welcome at church. Um, but <laughs> despite that, I uh, watched the church service and I had a good time uh, and I went outside and some people walked up to me, right? Some officials from the church, they walked up and they asked me, oh, you know, you seem like you're new to the church. Uh, we've got clubs and events and we essentially agreed to disagree. But something that they did is one of them went inside after three hours, three hours, right? The church closed, like they, they closed their service. And after that three hours, they gave me this, all right? And this is honestly one of my most cherished possessions right this is a red line bible straight out of the church like out of the church pews they gave this to me and it's got like some dope aging it's like leather bound it's dope right and the reason why that bible is so important to me is not because of the information that's inside of it it's the conversation i have right? Which for a lot of people is jarring. It's difficult to have tough conversation with people in real life. But something that the internet prepared me for, and maybe overly prepared me for, <laughs> is just being comfortable talking about essentially anything with anyone. And really the root cause of it was edginess, was being willing to get into verbal fights, being able to stand my ground and prove myself in online chats. Uh, edginess was this uh, strange tool in the tool belt of a young teenage me and I never really grew out of it. I just sort of uh, kept in mind what, what kind of edginess is fun among friends and how to make sure that I see everyone equally as my friend before I engage with them. Uh, that way I can have conversation with someone and even let it get crazy and extreme and throw words back and forth, but also not be a complete 
fucking dick to them at the same time. And it's that sort of confidence, that sort of willingness to talk about literally anything. Believe it or not, there's skill building in there, and there's some character building too. And I don't know, like most of my videos, I guess there's no moral to the story, right? Like there's nothing that, uh, like I'm trying to take away and teach you, right? <laughs> don't, don't learn about socializing from me. Oh my God, please don't. But I'm interested to see where it goes. I'm interested to see where edginess goes, uh, where verbal fighting goes, in a world where people grow up with the internet and with internet discourse, and who also maybe don't have nearly as much animosity as someone like me did in 2009 on Facebook. And I don't know. I guess that's the video, right? Uh, that's it. Uh, I hope you have a great day, and if you don't have a great day, then hop on Vice City and do the ice cream truck missions. I don't know about you, but I just finally did all 50 to get the Mr. Whoopi asset, and oh my god. <laughs> if you're having a bad day, wait till you do that fucking mission. Jesus fucking Christ. <sighs> <sighs> Yeah, let's stay, yeah. Everything I've done, I swear I see.